Have you ever wondered if it would be possible to send an automatic email whenever a stage changes in my case? Now, this is possible with a tool called Zapier, and we send, can send emails just like this, which will include some information about the case, the client, and will be triggered whenever the case stage is updated in my case. Now, this can also be triggered by different fields, not only the stage, so really the sky is the limit here. If you want to learn how this works, keep watching and I'll explain how the automation is set up. The automation consists of multiple steps in Zapier. Now, first of all, we add in a trigger that will monitor for when a case is updated inside of my case. After that, we will find the case stage name. We'll check if that stage is the one that we want. So for example, in this case, in trial, we'll then get all the information about that case from the case management system. We'll also find the person contact, so the client contact with their email, first name, and any other details that we want. And we'll finally send an email in Gmail. So let's look at how each one of these steps are set up. So in the case updated, in my case, we have the event as case added or updated. In the trigger, we have defined the action to case updated. And the case field to be triggered on update is the case stage. So we'll only look at changes in case stages. After that, the information that we get from my case is not very complete. We just get the ID of the case and the case stage reference ID as well, not even the name. So because of that, we will need to look up the case stage through the API. So the way that it's set up is we search by ID. The value that we pass is this case stage reference from the first step. And the information that we then get is the actual name of the case stage, which is what we want. After that, we have a filter stage, which will just check that the stage name is exactly matches whatever we want. So for example, in this case, in trial. And if that's the case, the automation will go forward. It will then find the case, in my case, quite simple, just by searching up the ID that we got from the initial trigger, which will then give us all the information about that particular matter. We'll also get the client associated to that case. This are we getting from the client's ID uh, from step four. And this will give us the email, the name, the last name of the person. And finally, we are sending an email in Gmail. And the way that's set up is we are putting the email that we got from step five, so from finding the contact person. The subject, we are including the case name and whatever we want, for example, in this case, case in trial. And then dear first name from step five. I'd like to inform you that the case is now in trial. Obviously, you can add more variables into this email template. And the email is sent out. So let's test it out. I've gone over to my case, this case, John Doe. Uh, case stage is now in discovery, so let's update it to in trial. And just a few seconds after that, the Zapier automation should run. And there we go. We can see that we've got the trigger from my case. The stage was indeed um, in trial. So the, the filter has been passed, and we have sent the email in Gmail. So now go here, ABC Law Firm, the case reference, case in trial, dear John like to inform you that your case is now in trial. Now, let's look at what happens if the case stage is updated to different values. So for example, on hold, this will also trigger the automation, but the filter should now not pass to the next stage when we are comparing it in the trial name, uh, sorry, the stage name. As you can see here, we've got this information. We've got the case stage name, but it was on hold. So that was filtered and no more actions have been completed. Now you can obviously expand upon this automation with many more different stage names. You can also have a more complex filtering or branching logic depending on the practice area, or for example, connected to also different fields inside of the case management system, not just a stage, but this should give you a nice framework to get started from. Obviously, if you have any questions, um, just leave a comment and I'll be happy to help. Thank you for watching.